Hi guys, welcome to our channel paintandhardware.com for everything latest in the construction industry. Today we are here to show you a few tools. This is a rotary tool from Black & Decker. This is a jigsaw from Stanley. And uh, this is a, a sure farmer or sir farm from Stanley again, which you can use to shape wood. This is a 3 inch G clamp. So now we have a small project here where we would like to cut out the shape of this unicorn and we'll cut out the shape using the jigsaw. So let's get started. Uh, so we will start off with the jigsaw to cut out the shape. As you can see this jigsaw has a wood cutting blade fixed in it. We fix it using the allen key and these two screws. It has a variable speed. So the speed adjustment is given in the trigger itself. You can see here, we can start off with the really low speed and as we go higher, so for cutting uh, this kind of wood, which right now we are using MDF, I would recommend a medium to high speed, I think this kind of speed is okay. So let's start with the cutting. Now you can see we have cut out the rough shape of the unicorn. Now next we will go to fine tune the shape where we can follow the lines. We will try to use our sanding tool with the rotary machine. So here we have a sandpaper mounted on a drum. Let's try it out right now. Even this has a variable speed. Varies from 0 to 35,000 rpm. So let's try it out. Now we have used this sanding uh, tool, almost the approximate shape of the unicorn. Now only a few corners are remaining like this and a few po points over here. Uh, so we will try it with another tool. One thing we have understood using this tool is we have to use it very gently and uh, you should not force the tool. You must let the speed of the tool do all the work and uh, we should be very gentle that is the basic idea with this tool so let's try it with the other attachment here go for this small rotary diamond tool i hope you can see this clearly so let's try it with this i think we need a collet for this You can see this is they are given this wrench to tighten it. Make sure it's really tight. We lost a few sandpapers like this without tightening it really well. So now we have really secure tool. Let's try it with this diamond tool now. You can see now that we have got the shape of the unicorn down perfectly using the sanding tool and the jigsaw. So this rotary tool, there are a few very nice applications for this tool. We also have a cleaning brush. We can use this cleaning brush just to clean up uh, 
all the dust in the corners of this uh, work piece. So let's try it out with the brush tool. As you can see, the tool change is also very easy. We also have a set of grinding tools. I have taken this cone grinder. I thought I will just try out one or two lines on this wood. Let's see if it really works. As you can see, it doesn't really work very well on wood. We just got a light mark on top. We'll try it with another tool. We'll try this diamond engraving tool. So guys, we have used uh, three out of the four tools we started off. We really couldn't use the surform. We used the G-clamp for clamping down the wood. As you can see, it's a real, really heavy duty G-clamp. Now uh, we use the rotary tool, we use the sanding accessory, we use the sanding accessory, we use the grinding accessory, we use the clean up brush, we use the drill bit, we use the diamond bit. So the most useful for wood I found was is the sanding accessory and uh, for the fine tuning you could use this uh, diamond, uh, diamond tool but uh, not really needed. So I think the only two tools for woodworking would be this sanding drum, uh, this drill bit and uh, this cleaning brush. So those three th things we found useful for the woodworking. Now uh, the jigsaw we have seen, we have used the rough, rough edge tool. You could also use the jigsaw with a smooth uh, uh, edge uh, blade to get a better result. So if you want any of these tools, you can always visit our website paintandhardware.com and if you really like, like this video and found it useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and until next time, have a good day.